Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back with the Random Blind Bag Box and today we're going to be picking five random blind bags, boxes, or capsules to open up today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go down to the bottom as usual. We're near the bottom. We've got a few cool items. Oops, this one's already come in open, but we've got the Littlest Pet Shop series one and the mini Barbie Land cutie reveal as well as a Disney Dorable series four. All right, so we just need two more. I feel like we need to go for a capsule. I kind of want to cheat and I want to open up a mini verse. Should we open up this mini verse, make it mini lifestyle? Sure. All right, so we just need one more. Let's see what we have. I don't know if I want to go for a capsule because I fear that it would be a mini first. All right, what do we have? A, oh, a villain's chibi snap. So let's go ahead and see what we got inside each box. Let's go ahead and start with the Disney Adorables series four. Let's see which friend or friends. There's only one in here, I think. Friend we will get. <laughs> let's just, I'm gonna quickly run through the checklist. You could pause if you wanna see anything in more detail. Of course, I'm hoping for anything Cinderella. It's not wanting to focus on this. It wants to focus on this bag. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I think it's starting to focus. All right, anyway. Let's see who we have. It is Rapunzel. And she is a common. And she does not want to focus. Rapunzel. Rapunzel. I think she's working now. I think she's, I think she's focusing now. <laughs> She's gorgeous with her hair. I love it. It's just so beautiful. All right, let's see what else we can open up. Let's go for the Disney Villains Chibi Snaps. So there are eight fiends to collect and we get two inside here. So let's go ahead and see who we're gonna get. Hopefully it's Scar and Ed. Those are who I want. All right, we have, oh, well, we got Ed and Iago. Those are actually really good. Those are really good ones. <laughs> These are all of the ones you can get in this series. We've got Iago and Ed in this opening, which I'm so hyped for. All right, let's check them out. We actually need scissors, but I don't have them. I don't know where my scissors went. My cats were playing in this room. I should say my kittens were playing in this room earlier, so... Don't be alarmed. They probably don't have the scissors in their room. But they probably knocked them off the table or something. Anyway, these are our TV snaps. Here's Ed. Here's Iago. They are so good. They're so detailed and so nicely painted. They do have suction cups, so they can suction to lots of different surfaces as long as it's a sm smooth surface. My new table is actually not. It's a textured surface, so they won't stick. But you can stick these to windows, a lot of other tables, the fridge. Well, depending. It really depends on the material, but really, really cool. Okay, and that brings us to, let's say, the littlest pet shop, pet surprise. What do we have in here? Just dump that out. Ooh, we've got a boat. That's a boat. This card will tell us who's inside, and we don't want to spoil that, so I'm just going to open this up and see. Oh, we've got a cute little puppy. Oh my goodness, hello. I love this one. This one's so adorable. Here's the little card. So cool. Sassy is level one and core. This is number 10. Oh my goodness. Obsessed. And then here are all of the pets. There's so many pets. <laughs> I don't think I could possibly show them all to you. I'm very happy we got this one. So cute. All right. We have a nice little collection. Oh no, I just noticed this one kind of has like a mess up foot and paint job here. Don't love that, but maybe we can customize it or something. Oh, and then the boat. There we go. So these are our two remaining items. I think we'll go for the Barbie first. And this is the cutie reveal. So these are the ones up here that we could possibly find. I kind of really want to get the panda or the, this bunny. I think that's a bunny anyway. All right, let's see. I'm going to use my little knife here to get this open. There we go. And then, let's see, I should be able to pop it out over here. Yes, perfect, perfect. All right, are we ready? Oh, I see something blue, I think. 
Oh no, I can't get this out. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, I forgot they came with like a little pet. Stop. Oh my gosh. I got this one out. Her head already came off, but this is the look, right? And then this head here is a rubbery head. I love it. Now they are like, you know, hard plastic little figures and they're a lot like Polly Pockets. So cute. Look at that. Look at the hair, the black hair with some pink highlights, some white highlights too. I love this. And they can only, they're only articulated at the waist, just like Polly Pockets, like I said. And then, let me see, where'd the little friend go? Oh my gosh. This is too much. <laughs> the little friend. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Okay. You can stand back there with your little friend. Please don't, please don't get lost or anything. All right, that brings us to our very last one, which is the mini verse. Perfect, because we've got tons of minis. <laughs> All right, so this is the Home Series 1 Make It Mini Lifestyle. There are 12 different ones to create and collect. And, oh, there's some of the examples here. There's like bird houses and plants. I think those are mainly in like bird feeder, bird, bird feeder, bird houses and plants. I am still looking for some birds. I would love to find a bird feeder one. But you know, we'll see, we'll see what, what we get. All right, here's the second layer. Oops. All right. Get this layer off of here. Come on. There we go, perfect. All right, so, oh, we've got the Monstera. This isn't the first time we've gotten this one, but I love it every time. Okay, let's get these papers out of here. So this one, well, maybe we can look at the checklist first. So what I usually do, which I might do in this case, is I will use some resin for the plants to kind of keep them in place. So let's just look through the checklist first. These are all the ones we can get. I really want these bird feeder and birdhouse ones. Oh, and the pothos, that would be amazing. But we have this Monstera right here. And as you can see, this is our recipe card. It's just dirt. It's not real dirt, but dirt. Um, and it's usually just dirt. It's not resin or anything. And I usually add the resin just so it'll like stick, stay a little longer, you know? All right, so we have legs for our capsule. And then, oop, okay. <laughs> Did they not go in? I thought they went this way. Maybe that one just one just gave in. I don't know what happened there. All right, um, we'll say there, the little Barbie didn't want to stand up, that's okay. All right, this, I believe, is our dirt, our potting soil. So it is, it's basically like, the feel of it typically is like kinetic sand. Also, I forgot we had tweezers and a shovel in here. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. So tweezers and a shovel. And then this will be our pot. Let's pull that out of there. Perfect. And then we have our plant. Look at that beautiful plant ready to be planted. We love it. So, I mean, I could definitely raise this above quite a bit, but I kind of wanna, I'll probably bury it completely if I'm quite honest. All right, so we'll we'll bury the majority of this plant, but what I'm going to do to make this a little more difficult on myself is like I said, I'm gonna add a little bit of resin to this. Now this stuff here, this potting soil, this, this not real potting soil, <laughs> is like kinetic sand, but it also has some rocks or like pebbles in it. It's pretty cool. I don't know how, how, how well you could see it because it is fairly dark. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pack this full. We actually could just, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pack this full and then we'll just coat it with resin at the top. You can definitely do that if you have extra, like if you have leftover resin or something, you can definitely utilize it in that way. All right. So now we want to make sure we center this kind of, at least as best as we can. And then, oops, let's see if I can, I think I messed it up centering wise. I think it needs to be more off to 
the side. But I'm just trying my best here with what I've got. Could use the shovel. All right, I have used pretty much all the soil at this point. So I'm going to maybe use the shovel to help me out. I don't think it's gonna really help me out. I think I just need to use my fingers to kind of pat it in there and make it how I want it because it is kind of raised up on this side. I don't love that. But maybe, yeah, my shovel could help me with that. All right, so that is the look, right? And then what I will do is take some of my own resin or like I said, if you have leftover resin, you can do this and pour it on top. I don't wanna to do too much, but. And then it kinda of looks like it's wet soil, like you had just watered it or something. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna actually use these tweezers to cover this area. This really just, you know, I love the plants, but I also don't love that they're not, you know, they don't, like if I drop this, it could just, you know, all fall apart. <laughs> Because the there's nothing holding it in really. It's just the the sand or the the potting soil, right? You could also use glue. Glue might be fun. But yeah, there it is. And then we will just take our light, which I put here somewhere. Our or you could take it outside and have it cure, just like that. Super cool though. Oh, uh, I'll just show you the final look here. It's just amazing. I love this monstera plant. It's so cute. And the pot's really cool too. I would love to customize this to make it actual Rubik's Cube colors. That'd be really cool. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this unboxing. Let me know your favorite out of all of the ones we opened up in the comments down below. I'm going to choose the little Barbie cutie reveal is my favorite because that little teeny tiny pet is just too cute. But let me know your favorite in the comments. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.